drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we'll be looking at the new smart device from Anton Parr, the Smart Ref, which is a smart refractometer. So let's get straight into it. Beer industry professionals and those that work in other professional environments where high-end instruments are called for are usually going to be very familiar with Anton Parr, as will homebrewers these days since the release of their Easy Dense Density Meter, which has proven to be very popular. Anton Parr have a very long history in the instruments industry and in 2022 are celebrating their 100th year and in this time have many accolades to their name. Anton Parr are a company with facilities that can be found in many European countries and in 2020 had a revenue of 392 million euros. So as such we are talking about a very successful company who have developed a huge amount of success and respect in their field. Let's now take a closer look at the smart ref starting with the box and what is inside. Firstly we have the device itself which is very reassuring and also some handy pipettes that are used for adding liquids for your measurements with the device. There is also a safety guide and a quick guide included in paper form too. Not that you really need any instructions really though as it's all pretty obvious and the smart ref has its own smart app too for both Apple and Android as indicated on the box here. Here is a closer look over the smart ref itself, which just like the Easy Dens before it, certainly has a great feel and build quality. This is clearly not a toy, it's a professional quality tool as you would expect from Anton Parr. Naturally my focus on this channel and this video is beer, but this device also offers measurements for other food and drink types, like honey, wine, juice, sauces, jams, fruits, vegetables and also maple syrup. There is also functionality for determining salt water content for pools and aquarium owners too. So this could be a very useful multifunctional tool for those with the applications for it. Use of the smart ref is really fast and easy. Apart from the device itself and the supplied pipette, you will also need what you see on the table here, which is essentially a smartphone, some water and wart for measuring. We start off by turning the device on with this button and you will see the lights on the front flash. We then add some water to the device first to set a zero or neutral value of SG1000. I am using distilled water for this as it will definitely be neutral whereas tap water will not always be exactly neutral. When adding samples you must make sure that they are at least three quarters of the way up in the sample section. This will ensure accuracy of measurement. After doing this we open the app and take our measurement for zero adjustment. After doing this you should clean off the lens for an accurate wart measurement. The water sample is then removed and we then add our wart sample to take our specific gravity measurement in the same way as we did before with the app. The app portion of this video footage was shown in real time and as you can see the measurement was quickly done. Once our measurements are done we then clean the device by holding it underneath the tap briefly. You should then give the sample section a wipe clean with a clean cloth. Comparisons between Smart Ref and Easy Dens are very natural, so let's now look at them side by side in various different ways. If you are already familiar with the Easy Dens, then you will have already noticed two differences when compared with the Smart Ref. Firstly, that with the Smart Ref, you do need to make that zero measurement first before taking the real reading, but on the bright side, it is a little bit easier to clean when compared to the Easy Dens. The other good news is that SmartRef is actually cheaper to buy compared to the Easy Dens. Please check on Anton Parr's website for details of pricing in your area after watching this video of course. Plus if you are watching this video within 2 months of release then you can also obtain a further 10% discount as a David Heath homebrew viewer. Full details can be found in this video's description section. It should also be understood that the Smart Ref is a refractometer, so as such readings are made using refraction of light, and the Smart App automatically makes the needed corrections for wart and alcohol correction. These correction factors can be adjusted globally or individually for each batch to get accurate values, no matter what the type of beer is. Naturally this can only be made accurate for sucrose water samples, however the Smart Ref is suitable for use before, during and after fermentation, just like the Easy Dens. The capital difference however with the Easy Dens is that you have a density meter which allows the device to determine Plato and specific gravity results directly so completely without calculations and adjustments as such which also allows for some extra accuracy. Another advantage of the Easy Dens, be it a small one, is that it has an increased measurement range, as you can see on screen. But frankly I do not believe that this will impact your average beer brewer, but it might if you intend to use the device for other purposes as well as beer brewing. 
The Smart Ref does have a nice advantage though in that its sample amount needed is smaller than the sample requirement on the Easy Dens, but I think it is fair to say that they are both very small amounts anyway, especially when compared to regular hydrometer requirements. When it comes to power, the Easy Dens uses two AA batteries, whereas the Smart Ref uses two AAA batteries. These can be standard alkaline or rechargeable for both units. With the Easy Dens, this equates to over 40 hours of power on use, whereas the Smart Ref will give you around 10,000 measurements. So these are both cheap and efficient power wise. I know you have been waiting for it, but I have saved the best for last, which is simply how accurate these are. When it comes to accuracy, shown on the screen are the levels given by Anton Parr, which are in bricks. Both of these values are so small that they are both in the same specific gravity range of 1.001 of accuracy, which is of course as good as it really gets. And you simply cannot expect or obtain that from anything else at a cheaper price point. To conclude, I wish to say that as a home brewer you have the choice around accuracy, unlike a commercial brewer who really must ensure accuracy for constant quality results, and of course to ensure that the alcohol level on the end beer is actually correct, otherwise they are simply committing fraud. Having the tools for this kind of accuracy at home is certainly a luxury, but a very nice one for sure, should your budget allow for it. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!